Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle F1 channel. Happy Diwali greetings to you all. In this video, we are going to see Oracle database how to generate AWR report through Oracle provided Perl script. So, I am going to give a demonstration step by step, and uh, this would be created couple of ways. Uh, one is uh, run the whole the Perl script and uh, next one is uh, generating interactive mode. So first uh, we need to download that Perl script from Oracle My Oracle support site AWR DMP PL. So in my lab environment couple of databases running SR lab as our test and it is running on ASM Oracle Restart. So uh, I am going to give a demonstration in Oracle database SR test which is running on Oracle NDC and the July patch. So let's see what is the So it is uh, running CDB plus PDB database environment. And uh, first we need to check that uh, AWR uh, report generation, how frequently the report got genera generated and uh, AWR control, uh, I mean and the parameter settings. So uh, this is running uh, every one hour frequency. So database uh, it is running on uh, CDB as well as Blackable database. Uh, it's configured every one hour that AWS report got generating. So now checking uh, how uh, what is the beginning interval and the end interval like a snapshot and a snap id available uh, to get the AWS reports so uh, from snap id 4 to 21 it is available in this database so in this script uh, i am going to run a interactive mode so start with Perl, the Perl script. While you are running Perl, AWR DMP.pl. So enter the username, system, password, TNS LIS, SR test, frequency 1, HTM1. So, and the database number. So, number 0. So, we can give the minimum date of interval. Already you see this. You can get it from here. From where you want. Uh, from which date you want. You can put, say for example, if you want to take a snap from 23rd October, then you can give this 23rd October. like this you have to go and 2022 24 10 2022 in maximum data interval so uh, the output directory it will be automatically created by oracle itself a dump directory dir dump dir will be automatically created by oracle itself 
while you are executing that uh, Perl script. So that uh, HTML, uh, the Adelware report will be available under uh, in this directory, which HTML format. So it will be generated hour by hour. So uh, this this is the interval, begin interval and the end interval. These uh, these are the interval. How many snap IDs? How many frequencies snap IDs available? Which will be created under this directory, and you can get it whatever you want, uh, which is application theme or uh, that uh, begin interval and the end interval. So uh, you can uh, give it to that uh, uh, HTML. I mean that I uh, will report to that uh, application theme. So, but it will be generated how many intervals, how many snap ID is available, it will be whole things you can get it. So now, uh, the added report generation got completed. So check this directory, it is, this dump directory will be created during this uh, script, uh, AWR script generation. So now you can go and check this directory, these are the HTML files will be available. So this is uh, everyone knows 7 snap ID 17 to 18, 18 to 19, 19 to 20, 21 to 20 to 21. So which is available 23rd, 10, 2022 to 24, 10, 2022. So but in this database we have snap available from 16 October 22, like snap ID 4 from snap ID 21. Okay. So now we have requested only for 23, 10 to 24, 10. So these are all the uh, stable files generated, but this will be created every one hour uh, generation. Okay, if you want, you can modify that uh, snap generation hours, and also uh, which is requested from your app application team, you can give that particular snap ID interval, snap interval. So you can give that uh, report to the uh, application team. So now uh, we have seen a container uh, that whole uh, whole database uh, CDB database uh, snap generation, but particularly in this database in this container I mean in this uh, container you have multiple PDBs running you have three or more than five available database running the application team requested only for the particular PDB so you can generate per PDB AWA report you can generate per PDB provided we need to enable PDB uh, ADLW report generation uh, parameter. So in my case, I have already enabled the PDB generation ADLW report generation uh, parameter. So now I will show you how to generate uh, ADLW report for PDB. So again run. system TNSLIS I am going to give uh, blackable database service name so yes sir test blood v21 and mode HTML so it is got connected as a test blog, the pluggable database, it got connected. So now you can enter that uh, pluggable database. Uh, so you can see the container ID here, container ID which is pluggable database container ID. So now you can give the database number 0. So again, here it is, it is available from 16th October, snap ID 1. And 24th October snap ID 19. I mean, from begin snap ID and snap ID. Okay, so I'll go. I'll go ahead with this date. And uh, again, 24. So now it will be generating per pluggable database level. So earlier we see container level. AWA report generation. Now we are generating AWA reports for pluggable database. So this is not this is applicable for 
if the container database is running on more than one level database if the application team requested for the particular pdb you can go ahead and create the uh, generate the aws report for uh, per pdb so now the aws report generation got completed for blackable database level so the same the files will be generated in this directory so we'll go to this directory and see okay so this is the easiest way of generating aws reports instead of uh, awr rpt or awr rpti that is called running and also uh, if you are going to oem you can generate awr reports from there also but this is oracle provided perl script to generate uh, awr reports this is such a cool features provided by oracle we can make use of it okay thanks for watching oracle phone channel have a great day and a happy diwali folks